There is a house in New Orleans. <laughs> that was painful. Hey, I'm Jamie Anderson, and I'm going to show you how not to hold your body when you're playing the guitar. It's really easy to lose track of what your shoulders are doing and what your arms are doing when you're really focused on learning a song, the music in front of you, and all the world falls away. And practice is good, but you want to be uh, practicing good posture or you're going to end up at the chiropractor and it's just going to make you unhappy and we, we want everyone to be happy when they're playing music. So I did two things there in that opening that I've seen people do and one of them is hunch up their shoulders. So you want to release your shoulders, bring them down your back, sit up as straight as you can. It helps if you have a chair with no arms, maybe with a little back support if you need that. Um, uh, the other thing that I did was I sort of hunched over and looked at my hands. And again, that's really bad on your body. So what you want to do is look at your fingers when you're first learning a chord and then practice the heck out of it. Because after a while, muscle memory will take over and you won't have to contort yourself in order to see what you're doing. That leads me to people who play like this with the guitar almost flat in their lap because they can see their fingers that way. Well, that's all very well and good when you're trying to figure out where your fingers go, but you don't want to be in that habit very long. If you haven't been playing very long and you feel like you do need to look at your fingers, tilt the guitar slightly and then look at your fingers. Play that way. And after a lot of practice and your fingers know where to go, then bring the guitar back where it should be. That curve right here in your guitar should fit nicely on your leg. That'll stabilize it for you. I also don't want to see you doing this. Now, that is sort of the classical position, but classical players, oh look, my cat is joined us. <laughs> classical players have stools, they put their legs up on the stools, and frankly, I'm not a classical player, so I can't give you instruction in that. So if you play classical guitar and you want to know how uh, to do that position, then you need to talk, a class, talk to a classical teacher. Um, so in, in general, if you're playing popular forms of music and you're sitting down, you want the neck almost parallel to the floor, maybe tilted up a little bit, which is how I do it. You also don't want to do this. Because again, you're just going to end up at the chiropractor. You don't want that. Apparently my cat's going to play the guitar. <laughs> and, um, so try to keep it nice and even like this. Keep your uh, guitar right here. Which leads me to, what do you do with your legs? Well, you can cross them like I do. And the reason I like to do that is that the curve of the guitar fits neatly on my leg and it brings the guitar up to a good level for me to play. You can also put your feet flat. I can still play this way and it feels comfortable. If it's not comfortable for you, then try crossing your legs. And also, even though I said I'm not a classical player, classical players use footstools and those really come in handy. So if you think a footstool might help you, uh, invest in one and give it a shot. And you can even uh, try it on your other leg. Uh, classical players elevate their left legs if they're right-handed players. But, you know, try it on your right leg too and see if that works for you. So there you go. There are some tips about having good posture. Oh, I almost forgot. If you're reading music, really make sure that you're not hunched over your guitar like a vulture, right? So don't do this when you play. Look at my back. Oh boy, that's going to hurt after a while. When you bring music into the equation, I've seen a lot of people do this. Maybe because they're not wearing their bifocals. <laughs> and they do this. That's the vulture look is what I call it. So uh, try not to be a vulture. If you find yourself leaning forward a lot, then maybe you need a new prescription for your glasses. Or maybe you need to practice so that you don't have to stare at the music quite so much. So there you go. There's my tips for having good posture when you're playing the guitar so that you don't end up in the chiropractor. I mean, chiropractors could use your business, I guess. I mean, I hate to be taking money away from them, but eh. oh, please check out my other lessons. I have over 400 lessons for beginning and intermediate guitar players. I also teach mandolin and ukulele. Uh, I'm a songwriter, so if you want to check out my original music or any of the books that I've written, you can find information at jamieanderson.com. Com. Support what I do by buying me a coffee. I'll put a link somewhere in this video or perhaps underneath. Thanks for tuning in. It means a lot to me.